What's going on everybody? Today's video is going to be for the beginners out there, those that are just starting to learn, or if you're a little bit further along in your journey, maybe this will be a good refresher or I look to see uh, another way to implement this. And this is how to build a UI tab bar controller. We're gonna talk about how to build the controllers. We're gonna have uh, one of the tabs is gonna have a navigation controller in there as well, kind of mixing those two. And then we're gonna talk about customizing the tab bar a little bit. You can go much further with that, but uh, we're gonna stick to the basics. So let's get started. So as you can see, we're starting with a completely blank canvas. I even deleted the default view controller that starts. So I did file new and then deleted the view controller, starting completely fresh. So the first thing we wanna do is bring on a UI tab bar controller. So here in Xcode 10, if you hit Command Shift L, uh, pull up your library, start typing UI tab bar and it should pop up, here it is down there. Uh, you go ahead and drag this onto your storyboard. And as you can see, here it is. And it does give us two view controllers to start off with. So it's kind of built in. Uh, we're gonna build an example that has four. So uh, in order to do that, first, just to make this more cleanly, uh, we're gonna move our view controller list here down to the bottom. So to the left, uh, to the right, and there you go down a little bit more, just get those segues not confusing. So the first thing we wanna do, like I said, we're gonna have four options. So let's go ahead and add two more view controllers onto the screen. Now, I'm gonna stop real quick. Uh, there's going to be a lot of view controllers on this storyboard when we're done. This is not recommended. You may hear a lot of uh, things that, you know, storyboard is very slow and laggy, and that is because people put too much on them. Uh, I have done a video all about refactoring your storyboard. Uh, I'm not gonna get into it in this video because I'm gonna keep this focused on the tab bar, but after you build this, I would recommend checking out that video because it basically refactors the storyboard into something much more that you would use, you know, on a real project. But again, for the sake of this tutorial and the quick quickness of it, uh, let's just keep it like this. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna add two more view controllers onto the screen. So Command Shift L again to pull up your library. Uh, UI, start typing UI view controller, or actually it's, it's already defaulted at the top. Drag it on, there's one. Let's go ahead and get another one, Command Shift L. Drag one more onto the screen. Uh, so the trick is with the tab bar, you wanna create what's called relationship segues. So from this main tab bar here, click on it. I always drag from this yellow circle. You could also drag from over here on the left in your view hierarchy, uh, but I just always do this. So control drag down to this view controller. You're gonna get this menu for segues here. Uh, make sure you hit relationship segue. If you can see my mouse right on it, click there. And then now in this view controller, you see you get the tab bar item uh, down below. Again, we're gonna put these right next to each other. Uh, now, like I mentioned in the intro, one of ours is going to have a navigation controller in it. And what a navigation controller is, is it allows you to swipe through multiple view controllers. So that's what this view controller here on the right is going to be. So we're gonna put it up here. We're gonna move it to the right a little bit because we're gonna want to, again, the navigation controller, uh, editor, embed in, navigation controller, and there you have it, you have our navigation controller with its root view controller. So now to finish off the uh, first initial setup of the tab bar, let's go ahead and control drag to the navigation controller. And again, a relationship segue to the navigation controller. And now as you can see, if I'll zoom in a little bit here, we have our four tabs on our main tab bar. Uh, they're not customized yet, we'll get to that with item one, item two, uh, you know, item, item. Uh, so let's go ahead and minimize or zoom out a little bit more. Now, right now we can't tell the difference between our view controllers. So let's change that a little bit and give each view uh, a different background color. Before we run this, because I started from scratch and I deleted that initial view controller, uh, you always have to designate is initial view controller, you see my mouse over here, uh, on, on whatever view controller you want to be first. So make sure you click this box on your tab bar. So that means as soon as your app launches, this is going to be the initial view controller. So now we'll go ahead and run it and see what we got. And as you can see, it automatically goes to our first one, the relationship segue here, which is this uh, bright green one. And then if we hit item two, we get the red, this should give us a dark green, and then this should give us our blue. So again, that is just the basic, basic setup. Moving on, we're gonna show the example of the navigation controller working, and then we're gonna customize our tab bar just a little bit with some uh, custom images or, or glyphs as they're called. So we'll go to the navigation controller real quick and we'll just make this super basic because this isn't a navigation controller tutorial, but I wanna show how a navigation controller works in a tab bar because that is a very common thing. So again, Command Shift L to pull up a button. So type it, start typing button and we'll go ahead and drag that onto our screen here. And I'm not gonna like customize this or make this look you know pretty uh, all that much uh, just cause again, it's not a UI tutorial. So we'll just give it a height and width of you know 50, add those two constraints. And then we'll just go ahead and horizontally and vertically center it. There we go. And actually let's make the width a little more. So click on the constraints here. 
uh, edit the width, I don't know, make it 200. Back to the button, click on the properties here, let's not name it button, let's name it next. Uh, hit enter, let's go ahead and make the text color white, really big, and really bold. Just so, you know, we can, we can see it here. Uh, bold, there we go. So, and then we want this to uh, go to a new, new view controller. So Command Shift L, type in UI view controller, drag that out there. And then just from the button, control drag to the next view controller and hit show for the segue. And then now this will be the navigation controller into that. And then let's make this uh, background color of this view controller part of our blue family here, like we talked about. Uh, this will be like a royal blue, if you will. Uh, so now we'll go ahead and run this just to show off the navigation controller real quick. And again, this is a little aside from the tab bar, uh, but I wanted to show it. So our fourth tab is the navigation controller. So you click in and the dead giveaway here is this nav bar at the top. You tap next, it goes to the royal blue one, and then you tap back. Now it goes back to there, so next back. All right, little side note on the UI navigation controller in a tab bar. Now let's move on to customizing our tab bar, right? Cause this, there's no images, uh, just as item one, item two. So let's talk about how we're going to do that. So each view controller here is going to have what's called a tab bar item. And that's what you're going to customize. So if we click here on our, our first view controller, the bright green, green one, and uh, in our view hierarchy over here to the left, we can click on this little star. If you see where my mouse is moving, it says item one with the star. That is the tab bar item. So this is what we're going to customize. So over here on the right in the inspector, uh, you can see the title is item one. Uh, you know, you can name that whatever you like. The image here, uh, well, we'll get to that in a second, but uh, the system item right here is called custom. You can make this like history, recent contacts. So basically Xcode has some default, uh, very common tab bars that will give you the typical glyphs. Uh, sometimes they work, but most of the time, if you're building your own app, you have your own images you want down here. And that does make your app stand out. So uh, we won't do the default ones. We're actually gonna do the custom ones. Uh, now there is a cool website, not sponsor or anything like that. It's all free to download uh, called Icons 8. So if I go to Safari here real quick, uh, you will see, here I have Icons 8 already up. I'll put the link in the description for these glyphs as well. You just enter your email and then you can get 200 glyphs. Now, you know, the glyph you want might not be there, but for the most part, you should get what you're looking for. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, I've already downloaded some glyphs because I wanted to save time there. So you just put the glyphs in your uh, assets folder. So if I open my assets folder here, you see I have a bar chart one, a bell, some coins, and a heart for favorites. So I've already downloaded these. These are the four I picked from the glyphs I downloaded. You can pick whatever you want. So back to our tab bar. And uh, here we are, like I said, on the tab bar item for one and the title, let's call this notifications. And then, so I just typed in notifications there and the image I want is a bell, hit enter. Now you see the bell there. Uh, same thing for item number two. Again, the star with the tab bar item. Let's call this favorites because it's red and it's gonna be a heart. There you go. And we'll call this one, again, change the tab bar item, call this one money. I don't know, I don't know what would be in that tab. Uh, go ahead and change that to the coins icon. And then up here in our navigation controller, uh, same thing, uh, click on the item and name this uh, charts, because I have my bar charts and give it the bar chart icon. So now when I go ahead and run it, uh, you're going to see a much better looking tab bar at the bottom but we're not done. We're gonna customize this even further. So uh, as you can see here, I'll move this over. Uh, you get notifications, favorites, money, charts. But again, like, like I said, the tab bar is this typical, you know, default looking transparent grayish. And you got the ugly default blue uh, that nobody ever uses for when you actually select it. So let's spice this up a bit. It's pretty easy. It's actually only two lines of code. Uh, so let's go ahead and stop running this. Go over to your app delegate. Now, before we dive into this, um, what we're going to do is called UI appearance. This will basically take care of uh, every tab bar in our entire app. Now, most apps are only gonna have one tab bar. I don't know if I've ever seen an app with two different tab bars, that's kind of weird. So another option, which we're not gonna get into in this tutorial, would be to create your own custom subclass of a UI tab bar. And then you would set the tab bar in storyboard to that class of your tab bar and you would do all your customization in that custom subclass. For the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna take the simple route and we're gonna use uh, the UI appearance. So we're gonna type a UI tab bar should autocomplete dot appearance and then dot bar tint color and it's going to equal 
Uh, so this is, this is going to be the actual bar, the actual tab bar. Uh, you can make this whatever color you want. I'm not gonna take the time to create custom colors, so we'll just go with something simple uh, with dot black. And then, uh, so if you, so that changed the actual tab bar. Now we wanna change like the highlight when you actually tap the image. So that is going to be UI tab bar dot appearance dot, uh, dot just tint color. And we're gonna make that equal dot red. Again, just basic stuff here. So let's go ahead and back to our storyboard. We don't have to do this, but I'll go ahead and run it. And as you can see, we have our tab bar here with, uh, it looks very YouTube-y if you're using YouTube in dark mode. Uh, so you get the black tab bar, uh, and then when you tap on this, you get the red uh, highlights for your glyphs. So that's building a basic UI tab bar and customizing it a little bit. Again, I want to reiterate, let's look at our storyboard real quick and zoom out. We have a lot of view controllers on this one storyboard. This is not ideal. So let me show you what it should look like without actually building it. So if I just minimize this, I have the other project open behind it. So here you see our tab bar. Uh, it's not the iPhone X tab bar. Uh, this is the, uh, it's set for iPhone 8. So let's change that to iPhone X just to make it look familiar. So here you can see I'm using what, what's called storyboard references. We'll zoom in a little bit uh, to point to a different storyboard for each of those uh, tabs. And that is a good convention. Every tab, you know, should have its own storyboard at least. So you see over here, I have like a green storyboard uh, that has a bunch of green view controllers. I have light blue, et cetera, et cetera, for all those colors, very similar to what we just did. And then uh, back to the main storyboard, you can see now it's much cleaner. Uh, my tab bar just points to a bunch of storyboard references and each one of those you know, themes has their own storyboard. So that's how you should do it. And again, if you wanna see how I built this, check out this video, link will be in the description. So there you have it. There is a very basic UI tab bar controller and we customized the bottom tab bar a little bit and we also implemented a navigation controller. So if you found this tutorial useful, consider subscribing. I put out new tutorials all the time. See you in the next one.